Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and so far this week I've mainly just been working on the animation tutorial because I really want to get it done before I go back to England for Christmas in about a week's time. Um, but I did do a couple of little things in Equinox so far. So firstly I redid the fir tree model and added that back into the game and I also did a bit more work on purchasing upgrades and made sure that you can't purchase the upgrades if you don't have enough DP. But apart from that, I've really just been working on trying to implement animation, which still is something that after four years of doing game development, I've never actually done properly. So I've been working on that, and I'll continue to work on that for the next few days. But first off today, I do have a couple of things that I want to do in Equinox. So far this morning I've just been working on adding the birch tree back into the game and I also created some new model stages for the younger versions of the birch tree and I also made the icons for the birch tree and the fir tree. I've just been getting back to work on the animation tutorial and at the moment I'm just trying to set up any sort of rendering at all so that I can at least test what I've done so far and then when I've made sure that that's all working I'll get started on the loaders um, which are going to be pretty difficult. But for now, I'm going to stop and have some lunch. So I've been working on the animation code all afternoon and I have made some progress. I've uh, done quite a lot of actual programming but I still haven't got to the point where I can actually render something onto the screen and test whether what I'm doing is correct, uh, which is a bit worrying and there's still just some of the matrix maths I haven't really completely got my head around it yet. So I'm struggling a little bit but I think I'll get there eventually. Um, I'm probably not going to get any more done today though, I'm pretty tired, it's like 8 o'clock now, so I think I'm just going to have some dinner, get an early night, and then I will try again tomorrow. It is 9 o'clock on a very sunny Friday morning, and today I've got three tasks that I want to complete. So firstly, obviously I want to make some progress on the animation tutorial and I want to actually get something rendered today. Secondly, I want to model a character for the animation tutorial. And then finally, I want to do a bit of work on the particle effects in Equilinox and create a more realistic falling snow or falling leaf particle effect. So I'm going to start off today with the character creation because it's definitely the most fun task that I have to do today. And I'm going to be using this tutorial here to actually learn about character creation because it's not something that I'm very good at, if you remember from SOC 1. And I will show you how I get on in a bit. So as you can see I have now finished creating the character for the animation tutorial and this took a little bit longer than expected, it's already one o'clock now, um, but it was definitely worth it because these tutorials that I was watching were really good and I was able to learn a lot from them. My blender skills in general aren't really great, um, so I found them very useful and I'll put a link to them in the description if you're interested, but I definitely recommend them if you're looking to improve your blender skills. Um, so now I'm just going to go and make some lunch, I'll try not to burn down the kitchen today, and then after lunch I'll get back to work with programming for the animation tutorial. So I have finally, finally got a working animation rendering onto the screen. And I know that this doesn't look like much at the moment, but because I haven't programmed the loaders yet, I can't actually load up any complex models or animations. I just had to hard code these in at the moment just to test it. Um, but this is now doing exactly what I expect it to do. This is an animation being carried out and it's working. And I'm just very relieved because earlier today I was almost at the point of just giving up because I was so stuck. 
and just not making any progress, but I finally managed to get my head around all of the matrix maths and I finally understood all the 3D spaces and what was going on. And once I fully understood everything, it was just so much easier and I was finally able to get the animation working. So it should all be downhill from now, I think. I think this was the trickiest part and all I've got left to program really are the loaders, which shouldn't be too tricky now that I fully understand everything. So I'm feeling very happy and I'm gonna stop now for a bit um, because I'm going out to my favorite Vietnamese restaurant tonight and then I'll see if I can get some more done later this evening. Back to work now, and unfortunately I'm not going to have time today to implement the improved particle effects in Equinox, but I have just re-added the snowy particle effects back into the snow biomes. Um, it got removed a while back when I redid the biome code, but it's back in the game now and looking pretty nice. Also, I've just been going through all of the animation code that I've done so far, and I've been commenting it all, because obviously next week I'm going to try my very best to get the animation tutorial done before I leave but it is going to be quite close because I've only got three days next week before I leave and I've still got to implement the loaders and then I've actually got two other videos that I have to do before I leave as well. So in case I don't get it done, I at least want to be able to release some fully working animation code with comments for you next weekend so that you'll at least have that to look through and learn from and play around with while you're waiting for the tutorial, which I would then obviously do as soon as I get back to Berlin after Christmas. Um, but that is the worst case scenario. Obviously, I'm going to try my very best to get it done next week. Um, but if I can't, you'll at least have the code to look through next weekend. So that is pretty much going to be it for this week. Next week, I'm going to be working on finishing off animation. I'm also going to be working on the video for the release of the Aquilinox soundtrack, which is going to be next Saturday, I think. And of course, I'm also going to be trying my best to finish off the first of the animation tutorials before I go back to England for Christmas. Um, but as I said, if I don't quite manage that, then I will at least release the fully finished, fully commented animation code for you next weekend. So there will at least be something animation related for you to look forward to next week. Before I finish, I just need to give a big thank you to the top Patreon supporters from last month. And they were Benjamin Fuller, Jerry Bradshaw, Crazy Rusky, NASA, Blue Nova, Danny D and Alexander Chavez. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week and I will see you all next time.